everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of JessicaLynnOriginal.com and today we are going to make this adorable inspiring card that says you are my hero. And we're going to be using one of the Jessica Lynn Original stamps. It is the Labrador Retrievers, it's a 4x4 four four stamp set. I will link it below. This card is pretty easy. It is going to need a couple of die cuts as well as I'm coloring it in with Copic markers. But let me go ahead and I will show you the stamp set. Here it is. It's 4x4 four four in size and available from jessicalinoriginal.com. As of publication of this YouTube video, we do have plenty of these in stock. And you can see they all come professionally packaged and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So I found some really cute cardstock to go with this, guys. I just think they're so cute. Look at those little eyes. I'm going to be using these adorable thin die cuts that I got from scrapbook.com. And I found some really cute coordinating paper with some texture and some puppy paw prints. So I think this is going to go really well. I'm excited about it. I like the color pattern and the color uh, design for this card. And of course, I love the imagery. So I cannot wait to see how this all looks together. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take some of that brown paper and I want to put it across the whole back of the card. So we're going to make the whole page that brown textured paper because I think that'll look great as the background to be able to build the rest of the card on. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right on there and then I'm going to use my cheater's way to go ahead and cut that out by flipping it over. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So you can see now that textured brown cardstock is the entire front of our card. And from here, we're going to do is we're going to get out the die cuts. And now we need to use two of them. First one is going to be that little banner for the paw prints. Second one is going to be a large rectangle. And I'm going to use my cuddle book. I got these adorable die cuts with the little banners. I got them from scrapbook.com quite a while ago. They're really cute. Um, they do say they're thin, which they really are. Um, I'm not disappointed in them, but I'll be really honest, a couple of small things. It does say they were made in China. I'm not a big fan of that. I really like the nice professional dies that have been um, offered here from different vendors here in the United States. I think they're a heavier quality. These are really thin. I mean, they did the job, but they were pretty thin. Um, and the other thing I ran into was they had used this super thick glue to kind of put them all on there, which was fine, but it was really hard to get them back off. So that's what's going on right now. So let me go ahead and just fast forward a little bit.
I absolutely love it when you run stuff through the cuddle bug and then it comes through the other side and it's cute little banners or different die cuts. So again, I do have a brother scan and cut, but I really also do like the die cuts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use that rectangle. I went through a couple of different choices and I laid them out so you could see them. That's what I really like about it is you can kind of play around with different sizes, dimensions, shapes, and so that's why I wanted to show that to you in the video. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this out and we are gonna use this as the back behind the banner and then the banner will lay over that and then I'll put some foam risers for the pups. The next trick that I really always like to do is before I glue anything down, now I did glue down the base, you're right, but before I glue anything else down, I like to kind of lay out my pattern of how it's going to look, just so I get a better idea of how the finished card is going to look. For example, I knew I only had a very small amount of space for the sentiment, and I knew I wanted that to go up on top. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I had it all lined up. So my next step is to go ahead and color in this card. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble this card. So we've already got the base on. Oh, let's go ahead and just sign this so I don't forget. It's really important to make sure you sign the back of your card. It's your art, it's your creation, so way worth it. If you are gonna sell these cards using Jessica Original stamps, just make sure you stamp a little JessicaLynnOriginal.com on the back. Again, before I glue anything, I do that final check just to make sure everything lines up and it looks pretty good. 
I am going to shift it down just a little bit so that I can put the sentiment up at the top. And the sentiment that I'm going to use, it's a Mama Elephant uh, stamp set. I really like it. I think it's so cute. It's got the little kids on there. But I like the sentiment that ha it's on there. And it says, you are my hero. I really like the font. So we're going to put that up in the top left. I was looking through all of ours and I was like, no, I don't like this one. And that's the fun part about stamps is that you can mix and match all the different sentiments. And I was looking through ours and then I was looking through Lawn Fawn and then I did the Mama Elephant in my heart and I saw the You're My Hero because the dog doesn't have eyelashes so it could be a mom or a dad dog. I've been experimenting with different types of glue and my daughter had some of the uh, Elmer's, um, the little stick glue, like the little just regular school glue. So I thought, let's just try it. It seems to hold pretty nice. I like it for like if I need to put a lot of coverage on and this paper's a little on the heavier side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down nice and firm. Once I have that glued down, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And the reason I'm going to do that is that I want to put the dogs up on foam risers and I want to make sure that I can get the block where I need it to without getting any ink on it. Again, the reason I love those clear stamps, I can see right where I'm stamping it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right on there. I love it, you are my hero. So again, this could be mom, dad, brother, cousin. This card could be good for anything. It could be just a random card that you send somebody because you care about them or love them. And I really like using the die cuts and mixing and matching them. And if you look close, you can see the little stitch lines on that rectangle. See, and I like that because it just gives it that extra little piece. I kind of wish that I would have cut the outside using a die cut as well. I think that would have been nice just to have a stitch line there as well. So, but I already glued it down, so we'll have to move forward this time. Maybe next time I'll try that. This paper with the paw prints is so cute. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's from the Paper Studio. You can, it's one of those where you can buy the individual sheets, so I just bought one sheet of it. But I love the combination of colors in there. I think they're all really pretty together. So let's go ahead and put some foam risers on the back of the dogs. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of put them partially on the banner, on the rectangle, and oh my goodness, so cute. First off, I love the image. It's so cute. It's such a sweet message. And I really love the sentiment. I like it with the, you see a little stitching. I love the banner. I think it's so cute. I just want to pop his little foot out just a little bit so that it looks like it's a little more three-dimensional. Let me just pull on that a little bit. There we go. And I love it. I think it's so sweet. Such an easy card to make, um, but such an impact. And I think it would actually be a great layout to use for a Christmas card. So I might try and do it again. Well, I do want to thank you so much. Um, we have a brand new goal here at Jessica Lynn Original. We are hoping for a thousand YouTube subscribers. So please tell your friends, share our posts. Be sure to subscribe yourself if you're not already subscribed. Um, I will pop up a little Brentwood. Just click on him and you'll see subscribe. And then I'm going to have two more videos for you to watch. Thank you again and have a great day.